I've been playing Weathering Ways since its launch, and I really enjoy the combat, exploration and the ecosystem. However, I have some concerns about its long-term playability. Here are my suggestions, based on my experience. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's start. The daily quests in Weathering Waves usually align with the main gameplay to some extent, but they are often time-consuming and sometimes require players to go out of their way to complete tasks, which can make the experience frustrating. For instance, tasks such as collecting 5 materials, performing an interest kill 3 times, or performing a dodge repair once are activities players are likely to do every day. However, other tasks like completing the daily quest, the simulation challenge, tacit field, or tuning an echo can force players to deviate from the usual gameplay routine, adding unnecessary complexity. In comparison, Genshin handles daily quests a bit better. Genshin's daily quests are more flexible thanks to the adventure encounter system, especially during events or with the advent of new regions. This system lets players combine event minigames with daily commissions, saving time and reducing repetitiveness. Furthermore, Genshin recently enhanced this system. Starting from version 4.8, any extra encounter points you earn will be stored as long-term encounter points. You can later convert these back into daily encounter points by using resin or crafting condensed resin from the crafting bench. This gives players more control over the game time, and on top of that, only reset at the start of major version updates, adding even more flexibility. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Honkai Storyl, however, sets the gold standard with its streamlined and convenient daily quest system. Initially, Honkai Storyl's daily quests were quite tedious, requiring players to perform tasks like using stamina-specific bosses or calyxes and leveling up a plethora of things, purely to gain activity points. This design forced players to go out of their way, disrupting the natural flow of gameplay and making it tedious for the player. Recognizing these issues, developers overhauled the system in version 1.6. The new system replaced the more cumbersome tasks with straightforward ones, such as logging in or consume 120 Trailblaze power, which align with players' regular activities. This change dramatically reduced the effort required to complete daily quests, making the system much more convenient and user-friendly. Additionally, the inclusion of an auto-battle feature since launch further simplifies the completion of daily tasks, solidifying Hawker Storyl's system as the most efficient and player-friendly among the three games. Hold up! Wait a minute! <laughs> How annoying! Adding to the mix is Zelda Zone Zero, which offers a different take on daily quests. Players can drink cough coffee once per day to restore battery shards and gain bonuses in the combat simulator. The Scratch Card Mania feature allows players to test their luck with free scratch cards, providing minor but useful long term rewards. Nice. Moreover, managing the open video store by selecting a promoter of movies offers a passive way to earn lendings. In Zelda Zone Zero, dailies are marked with a yellow speech bubble while exploring, making it easy to find and complete since you're able to see them through the walls. The system is straightforward and player-friendly, requiring minimal effort to complete. This approach aligns well with players' regular activities, similar to Honka Storl, but with an even lighter touch, making it one of the least intrusive daily quest systems. Weathering Waves should learn from Honka Storl's evolution, adopting simpler criteria for daily quests and reducing the point requirement from 1000 to 500 points which would significantly reduce the time spent on doing dailies. This change would make daily quests less time-consuming and more integrated with regular gameplay, thus enhancing the overall player experience. In conclusion, this is the critical area where Weathering Ways needs to improve to ensure a more engaging long-term experience for players. While the game has many strengths, addressing this issue could elevate its appeal and sustainability. I urge the developers to consider these recommendations. What are your thoughts? Do you agree or disagree with my points? Your feedback is valuable. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like. If not, feel free to dislike it. Additionally, subscribe to the channel would greatly support its growth and enable me to create more content like this in the future. That's all for me though. Peace be upon you.